Hello and welcome to today's session on understanding the characteristics of students who are considered high achievers or gifted and meeting their needs. Gifted students are generally identified by their cognitive ability, creativity and achievement on cognitive tests such as the Woodcock Johnson or Stanford Binet. Effective and behavioural habits may be taken into consideration as well as observations and or a review of a student's portfolio of work to ascertain giftedness. Not all gifted children have exceptional academic talent since some may exhibit creative, artistic and or musical abilities which excel in relation to their peers. A gifted child may be recognised as someone who is inquisitive and curious, is oversensitive and having strong feelings, enjoys adult conversation and knows extensive lexis, is creative and has original ideas and ways of reasoning, is tuned into and aware of their surroundings is able to self-teach and is cognitively advanced, has a particular approach to the way they learn and do their assignments. Although giftedness may be concentrated in one area, either academic, musical or creative, it can also be more general. It is therefore essential that parents and educators learn from their children's advancement and make accommodations to the way in which they are educated. In fact, gifted children's reaction to their environment could teach educators what kind of support and learning setup they need. It may therefore be appropriate to attend specialist schools which accommodate gifted children or alternatively attend a special program so they receive adequate opportunities to progress in a classroom environment that caters to their needs and is sensitive to their learning differences. When suitable provisions are made with emotional or academic support and the right resources and stimulation, a gifted child should be able to achieve his or her natural ability. However, we must also bear in mind that not all schools have the resources to stretch these exceptional talents, and these highly talented children may end up underachieving, feeling bored in class, or even dropping out of school. Often with giftedness comes the feeling of anxiety, and with anxiety the feeling of a lack of self-confidence. This is not uncommon in gifted children who are extremely sensitive to their environment. It is therefore of vital importance that parents and educators are aware of these difficulties and find an appropriate alternative to schooling which will help their children to become self-motivated and self-directed. We should bear in mind too that not all children learn from adults but can equally learn by themselves. In that way, they can take the lead on their learning with adults supporting them and providing wisdom as mentors. We should be giving these children who feel they don't fit in the opportunity to make headway by themselves and use the concept of a positive self as a measure of success. This is particularly true of children who are gifted because there is a need for them to know who they are. This can be facilitated by giving them a choice of how and what to learn. Here are some strategies to motivate gifted or high achieving students. 1. Ask them to research a challenging question or give them an open-ended assignment. Two. Be sensitive and aware of what high achievers are interested in. 3. Group high achievers together when possible. Maybe even provide a supplemental class. 4. 
Differentiate instruction. Provide possible choices for activities that the gifted or high achievers may be interested in. Five, give gifted students or high achievers real life problems and assignments. And that brings us to the end of today's session on supporting gifted or high achieving students. If you would like to explore more on any of the topics discussed, click on the links provided at the end of this unit. As always, remember to observe what is happening in your classes and be a reflective practitioner.